This is the world. This is the state of Georgia. And this is Atlanta. Atlanta is known for many things, like its airport, its airport, and its airport. What most people don't know is that they're absolutely not known for their coffee scene. So that's why we thought it would be a good idea to make a video about it. Welcome to the adventure of a lifetime, trying every coffee shop in the most underrated coffee shop hub in the world. Atlanta. Good morning. Good morning. We are off to our first stop, which is Victory Coffee and Calamity. It was recommended to us by several people and it's on a list of like best coffee shops in Atlanta. Excited to try it. We also got some gluten-free goodies, a place called Hell Yeah Gluten-Free. So we're gonna try the coffee, try the treats, get this morning started. One um, oat milk cappuccino. Honey lavender, just a cappuccino with oat. As always, cheers. Really. I give them both sevens out of ten. I don't think they're bad, but I'm not loud. The vibes in here are good, and it's a solid latte. I give it a seven out of ten. I think that's a good rating. Yeah. All right. Let's get dig into the I treats need a, I need here. Whoa, well, that smells so good. Well, I want to start off my morning with some Oreos. Oh, right. that is so. So good. Next stop is? I think it's called Finca to Filter, but this is one of the top rated ones. And it's also in a neighborhood we needed to be near, mm -hmm. so this works out. And it was kind Convenient, of- Convenient, good. I mean, what more could you ask for? Yeah, we're in Southwest Atlanta right now, and there weren't a lot around. This one came highly recommended via internet. Thank you, internet. Thank you. I just looked it up. Fin finca means ranch. You know, it's pretty early in the morning. And I feel like Lucy came in so hot. I was coming in hot. Uh -huh. And she's like, did you know that y'all are rated number one best coffee in Atlanta? And they both were just like, I think they were in disbelief. They're like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, where did you hear that from? And then you told them the, pl the what was it in called? Infatuation. Infatuation. They're like, what's that? <laughs> I literally started laughing. Out, out, loud, out loud in front of a bunch of people. And I was like. It felt like that scene from Elf when he's like, you did it! World's best cup of coffee! Let's try it though. I got an iced vanilla oat. I got, got an oat milk cap. It does taste a little burnt. Are we snobs? We're snobs. No, it's, it's okay. You wanna try mine? I'll try yours. Yeah, I like mine. I would give mine a 7.3 out of 10. A 7.3? You think that was better than yesterday's coffee? I'm not gonna lie, I wanna support this business. <laughs> because you told them they were number one. Should I give I, a, Should I give my honest rating? Give your honest rating, Lucy. You I, have to think, some people might I, watch this and I, come I, here because- <laughs> I, I root for the underdog. You're right, this is a five. This is like a, this is a four. Oh, don't be mean. This is a four, I'm sorry. I feel But bad. the thing is, they do have two locations. This is just one of them, so maybe we just went to the wrong location. This, this was the location that Set on world's best. <laughs> no, really. It's fine. It's fine. It's per it does the job. We will catch up with you soon for our next coffee rating. Hey. What if we become the voice for coffee? We're not the voice for coffee, Lucy. I don't want to say anything mean about any places. I regret this video idea. Okay, we are at our next coffee destination called Brash. There's a few in Atlanta, but this one seems to be the most recommended. Heard the espresso tastes different. Whatever different. that means. Cappuccino with oat milk. Okay, I do feel like we should state that, you know, cappuccinos are go-to order here. So that's kind of our baseline for all these coffee shops that we're going to. We're not like ice latte people typically. Sometimes we'll get, you know, something else just to get some variety, make sure we're uh, tasting all the flavors available. Let's see how our baseline is. Is it the oat milk? It's like the one with the weird bird on it. Okay, okay. Three, three, two, two one, one, seven. seven. Oh, nice. We have not yet had above a seven. No, above a seven, that has to be a really good coffee. I agree. I'd say this one has a very strong espresso flavor. It's nice. It's a well-balanced one. It's good. It's well-balanced. I, I really am biased towards Oatly oat milk, too, and I think yes. none of the coffee shops we've been to yet have used Oatly. Oatly, which is kind of weird. Which is random, mm -hmm. but the, that will make or break a coffee because you need a, a non-dairy milk that tastes like milk. We are on our way to finding the best coffee in Atlanta. Yeah, I, I'm believing. We're gonna find an eight, we're gonna find a nine, hopefully find a 10. A 10? And uh, you might be wondering, why are we coffee experts? Um, just because we live in New York City. 
<laughs> sure. Another day, another coffee shop. We are making some breakfast before we head out to this beautiful city called Atlanta, which honestly, Lucy and I are so, so impressed with. We're blown away. I was not expecting to love a new city this much. People are sleeping on Atlanta. And we have a hot take for you. Nashville versus Atlanta. What's <gasps> better, Lou? Hard Atlanta. Hard sorry, Atlanta. What, what are people doing going and moving to Nashville when Atlanta is right around the corner and right around the corner. <laughs> it's so much better, you guys. <gasps> Don't cancel us. We love Nashville too. Atlanta is just a lot better in our opinion. So the coffee shop that we're going to today is called Chrome Yellow. This is our friend's favorite coffee shop. I if we have an op opportunity to give like a nine or 10 rating, this will definitely be it. So I'm excited to try it out. I'm just excited for coffee. <laughs> coffee shop we both got oat cappuccinos you want to show them so cute also just for here is elite you know compared to to go all right should we do a taste test? yeah let's try it that's it finally <laughs> finally there it is it took a while it's just so much better than the rest oh my gosh i say 9.3 out of 10. 9.3 the only thing that's not a 10 is the milk is just a little colder than i want it to be other than that i would just call this a 10 out of 10 honestly i think we found it hmm. your milk is warm taste mine yours is cold yeah. that's kind of weird yeah. do you want mine no. you can have it no, i'm good it also vibes 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 vibes. Big fan. We're gonna get some work done. And this is just coffee number one. Got plenty of other coffees to do today. Okay, we got our next coffee shop on the list. This place is called East Pole. Lucy is not with me. She is in a meeting currently, so she will not be joining in on this lovely coffee adventure. We already had a 10 out of 10, so I don't know how we're gonna beat this, and we don't have to beat it. It can be the same, it can be worse, it can be better. You know, I would love to see an 11 out of 10 too. That'd be pretty cool. I will say I probably do not need another cup of coffee today, but I'm doing this for you. So I'm just gonna keep myself caffeinated today so that I can have a really great crash. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so it was pretty loud in there, so I didn't want to give my review when the music was playing because I figured you probably wouldn't be able to hear me, but coffee was great and the coffee shop was really cool too. I would call this one like a 6.8, 6.9. It was really good, but it still wasn't like great. I, I would say that the coffee at the other places that we've gone to have been better, but I would definitely say that if you're wanting a place to like get work done, this place had so many seats available. Definitely check it out. I was feeling honestly so... <laughs> so caffeinated when I started drinking my coffee. And I don't know if you ever have felt this way when you're drinking like too much caffeine that like you start to get really tired. I don't know, I was crashing in a weird way, but I think I'm back. The coffee is now in me in a good way. Good morning. Another day, another coffee. It is our last day here in Atlanta. It is. Mm. Sad. We so we have to say goodbye to good coffee good restaurants, good people. I'm very excited about this one. It's called Kinship, but they have these breakfast sandwiches. Is this more of like a breakfast place than a coffee place? It's a butchery. Oh, a butchery. It's actually called Kinship Butcher and Sundry, um, and it's in the Virginia Highland area. Chan, I'm honestly impressed by the amount of coffee shops we've gone to. Gone to so many at this point to where like, I wanna just go back to the ones we've been to. I know, like, especially I don't really wanna try another. I'd rather just go back to our 10 out of 10. Maybe I'll do that today. Just, just when you're watching just this, just think, we're doing this for you. I wanna come back to Atlanta. I have never loved a place so much that I visited for the first time. Can I go first? Yes. Mm. To me, that's a nine out of 10. A nine out of 10? Yeah. I would call this a uh, 7.2. Let's get crazy. <laughs> I'm sticking with my nine. I like it. Okay. I also am giving probably a full extra point for the vibes in there. So it's probably an eight coffee. I, I think they did a better job with their coffee than I expected just because I feel like when they do too many things, you don't expect yeah. a coffee to be good. Yeah. Well done, kinship. We're going to go for a little walk. This is such a cute area. Okay, that was probably the last new coffee shop we're going to today. But if you think we missed one, comment down below what your favorite Atlanta coffee shop is. We definitely probably did. I mean, we did miss a few maybe, only because Google Maps didn't show it. But besides for that, we tried every single. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay, drink it. 
No, drink it. Don't <laughs> flick. It's not gonna do anything. Sorry, don't Wait, flick. you don't flick. <laughs> Let us know if we had any hot takes. I would love to hear. There's so much to a coffee shop, you know? You've got vibe, you got coffee, you got internet speed, you know? <laughs> you do got internet speed. Okay, for my last and final stop, I had to go back to our 10 out of 10, going back to, I forget what it's called, the Golden Corral or something. Uh, gold something. 